Good day, viewers at home. You are welcome to another class of economics. Today, we are looking at national income. National income comprises of all the goods and services, the money terms of all the goods and services produced in a country within a year, plus national income or net income from abroad. Now, I want to quickly use this to illustrate before I move to the objectives properly. Now, what this represents in terms of national income? When government wants to measure national income, they don't have to deal with the quantity of this thing, but they need to deal with the money value of these items. That means, how much does a bulb cost? Now, I want us to move to the objectives. Now, national income, the definition, the concepts of national income, how to measure national income, the factors that determine a country's national income. Now, the first one is definition of national income. National income has to do with the monetary value. That means the money value of this commodity. It is not the commodity, but the money value of it. Now, added together, we give you national income on goods and services produced within a year, plus net income from abroad. And it is also called GNP, which is the formula of gross national product. Now, we are moving to the second objective, which has to do with concepts of national income. What are the concepts? We have gross domestic products. Y is equal to C plus I plus G. Y represents income. C represents consumption, I represents investment, and G represents government expenditure. When all these are added together, you get your gross domestic product. GNP means Y plus C plus, uh, Y is equal to C plus I plus G minus X minus N. That is to tell you that income from abroad is added to what has been produced locally within the country. Then MNP we have GNP minus depreciation. NDP we have GDP minus depreciation. Disposable income is talking about the money you have left after tax has been deducted. Now, real income is the purchasing power, the efficiency of the money you have. Look at this 1,000 error. What can you use this money to buy? That is what we are talking about when it comes to real income. Now, per capita income is the money you have left after per capita income is talking about the money you have left to spend. And that will determine your standard of living. It will determine your way of life. Now, money income is the amount of income monetary times earned from sale. What you have been able to offer for sale. Now, ways, how do we measure national income? Income method is the first method. What is income method? Is the calculation of all the income realized for factors of production. What are factors of production? Land, labor, capital, entrepreneur. Now, the next one is output method. Output method is talking about the value added in the production of goods and services. Now, it is there to avoid double counting. You know, that is why we call it value added. So that we will be able to avoid double counting. Expedition method is talking about the expenses on goods and services. All these, there are different ways of calculating national income. What about factors that determine a country's national income? Number one, quantity and quality of available productive resources. We have some countries in Africa now that do not have what? The resources we are having in Nigeria, so they cannot produce, they can't compete with Nigeria in, in production. Now, quantity and quality will determine it. The level of technical skill of your citizens will as well determine it. Now, the political stability and social stability of your country. If you have political stability, there will be continuation in government, there will be potential on the part of the government for efficient uh, production. Now, the level of development of infrastructure, good roads, good water, and the uh, all the other infrastructure facilities. Now, state of the economy as well will determine your income, your national income, the state of the economy. Are you in recession? 
Are you in boom period? All this will determine your national income. General attitude to work. Are your people lazy? Or are they hard working? It will as well determine your national income. Efficiency in the use of resources. If resources are efficiently used, then there will be what? Efficient, efficiency in the national income. It will boost your national income. It will increase your national income. Now, I think that will bring us to our, uh, at the end of our lesson for today. Now, please make sure you follow all these instructions. Make sure you copy your notes. Make sure you do all the necessary things to be done. And then do your work as expected. Thank you very much. Please stay safe. God bless.